What's going on, guys? Clutch here. Welcome back to County Line. Oh, we better close this up. Oh, I forgot. There we go. The automatic closing buttons. <laughs> uh, how are you guys doing today? We are uh, busy. It's the first day of summer out here on County Line. Guys, we are so busy with cattle. I'm telling you. It's, um, yeah, we're going to go through it all. Don't you worry. I'll tell you all about it. But, uh, yeah, they're keeping us on our toes. Let's pull it over here. Oh, actually, I almost forgot. I wanted to stop. Stop. Holy breaks much. I wanted to open this up. Boom. And you know what? We'll pull this thing ahead. We got another one up here. Oh, we're stuck, guys. We're stuck already. This trailer is so heavy for this little thing. Get up there. There we go. And jump on out. And we'll stop. <laughs> and this one up as well. Get some fresh air for our cows. We got our Holsteins in there making us some milk. Well, slowly. Not quite yet. Man, they're, they are a project, guys. I'm not going to lie. They are a project. Uh, there we go. Perfect. So they should be getting water now. So um, today, guys, we've got... Wow, well, we've got to do some work for our cattle. That's for sure. Lots of work going on. Our fields are looking pretty good. But our cattle, they're... Well, they're okay. But... Yeah, we've got some work to do. So that's going to be what we're doing today. And I'll be discussing exactly with seasons how it is interfering with your cattle and how it's going to, how we're going to have to deal with them. It is definitely a little bit different. That is for sure. So I'm going to go finish off. Looks like we need to get a little more water for this uh, this barn here. Got to open up those curtains. And uh, yeah, we're going to be working over here for a bit, guys. Let's do this thing. Bitter patter. Clutch simulations. All right, guys, so our cattle are, well, they're somewhat happy. They're not exactly happy. Um, yeah, they uh, they have water, at least. They have water and they have food. So I really, I don't know, they can't ask for much more than that, can they? <laughs> They've got the worst type of food is the problem. We'll talk a little bit more about exactly what that does. But, I mean, okay, that hasn't changed that much since FS or what the standard game is with seasons. But it, there is a little bit of a change. Uh, let's back this in here. I need this trailer. Come on. Thank you. Is this open? There we go. Awesome. All right, so we got a little utility trailer for our little John Deere here. Now, guys, we need to uh, we need to feed these cattle as our next problem. And I still got that big grass bin peep that's in behind over here. Uh, that's what I'm going to be using to feed the cattle for now, at least. That is the start, at least for now. That's going to change obviously once we get kind of going here. But uh, we're just trying to make sure our cattle stay alive right now oh bad guys i'm telling you let's jump in the uh the kubota and we will load up our gator here now this grass has been slowly depleting just because it's sitting outside guys this rots i think you lose about a third a day or something along those lines uh it's still here but we're losing stuff for sure let's see now this is not even going to take a full bucket it takes roughly half a bucket wow um, you know what? I can put some in the back, I think. Right? There we go. Oh, I'm dumping it everywhere but inside the gator. Why is that not going in the gator? That should go in the gator. Come on. Let's try it again. Let's see if I can get it in there this time. It's got to go in there. Come on. Go in the gator. You know you want to. Hmm. I don't know why that's not going in the back of there. It definitely should. Should be able to go right back in here. Anyways, sorry, we'll see if we can fix that later. Um, we're just going to dump all this over here anyways. This is kind of a waste of time. Well, so we'll take this one over to our uh, our Holsteins, which are right inside here. Open that up. I can probably back it in. But, uh, yeah, so we've got all this grass that I'm going to use up. Now, it's the worst possible crops for this, or po worst possible food. But I don't have any hay right now, so we could do a hay and a straw mixture. Hay and straw? It's a mixture of hay anyways. It's hay and grass. I can't even remember anymore. I think it's hay and straw. Um, or no, it's hay and silage. That's what it is. And we don't have any silage, so why am I having so many difficulties getting this thing to back straight up? <laughs> Come on, Clutch. Back it straight on in. There we go. There we go. Just dump her in. Now, they don't seem to be eating uh, much for grazing. There's not a lot of grazing grass in either of these pastures as well, so I've been having to kind of keep an eye on the food levels. It's only been one day, and they went through all their food and, well, more than all their water almost. To be honest, I'm a little bit scared because they've been going through a lot of it. Uh, let's try this again here. 
So we'll feed these up. Um, I've got probably a couple of these to do, to be honest. It'd probably be just faster for me to do it by bucket. I thought it'd be faster to use that gator if I could fill two bucket pulls into it. It'd make a lot more sense. But I can't, so for the life of me, get it to dump into the back here. Like this should. That should be going into the back of the gator. Hmm. I don't know why it is not. I feel like I'm getting kind of scammed here. That's all right. We'll do what we can can for this, but I think for the rest of this, there we go. There's not much there. That's only 700 liters when we can hold 2,000-ish with the bucket. So instead of doing that, we'll just do this, which is way faster then and uh, a lot more efficient. <laughs> so we can just go around doing this and getting these guys full, get them back up. Now, once we get the food done, we'll take a look at the menu and I'll show you exactly how our cattle have been doing. Now, you know what? We're getting there. Considering we've been feeding them the garbage food groups, just grass, um, we're getting there, guys. Things are happening. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. And one last load for our Holsteins. There we go. Oh, if I can back it in. This thing is not easy to back up because of that bumper pull, I think. Usually not this bad, though. This thing is finicky. There we go. Drop this in. Perfect. There we go. Our Holsteins now have milk. Now, guys, let's talk about these Holsteins for a bit. We, um, we're we taking a bit of a risk on these. These guys have not made any milk yet, and they have not reproduced. So, yeah, we're going to have to wait a bit. Now, I'll show you what exactly what I mean. So, these are all female cattle. All the Holsteins are always all female cattle. They get artificially inseminated, and that's how you, you do this without any bulls. So, you're not going to find any bulls in here. We just artificially inseminate, and that's how that works. So, we get fresh cattle out of it now. Depending on the food types they get will depend will give you a certain amount of milk. Now, of course, to get milk, you first have to have kids and well calves, I should say. And we don't have any calves yet, so we have no milk. So let's take a quick look into the menu. So we'll scroll down to our Holsteins. Now our Holsteins are almost all, for the most part, the same. You can see they're all 37% right now, and that's gonna be going up because they were almost out of food and almost out of water at the start of the day. So this is going to boost up into the 60s, I believe, because we're using grass. Grass is only going to give us, what is that, 60% effectiveness. So that is part of the problem. Now this animal is 2.1 years, and you're seeing that some of them now, our next animal is going to be here in 0.7. And that is simply because we've artificially inseminated, it looks like almost half, to be honest. So we should get a decent amount of new animals. I wonder if each one of those is um, come 0.7 or 0.8 years. That'll be nice. So that many animals will happen. Once those they have those calves, these cows will then start producing milk. So that's how long we have to wait. We still have to wait another at least a half a year, uh, a little more or over half a year before we start getting any kind of milk out of these cattle. And oh, guys, let me take a quick look at the price. So the purchase price versus the sell price of these. Uh, where is it? Oh, yeah, it's over on the side here. Just to take a look and see what we're going to get out of this. Thank you. So if we scroll on down, the uh, what are the Holsteins sell for eighteen hundred dollars currently? Our Holsteins we're losing three hundred dollars per cow, just roughly three hundred bucks, a little less. So right now we're at a loss on these cattle. Eventually it's going to get better with them. Uh, put that back away. It's just going to take us a little bit of time. So that is the Holsteins. These guys are all about the milk, guys. Just be aware of that. They're all females. You're going to get more cattle out of them, so it's going to be its more of a long-term long game. We're going to get more cattle out of them slowly, but the big thing is we're going to get milk out of them, and that's kind of a big deal. Now, over here, these guys, these are our slaughter cattle. Uh, yeah, these are the limousines. These are all bulls, even though they've got udders, which we commented about last time. But nonetheless, these are all, um, yeah, what are they, the limousines, that's what they are. So these are all males that are not going to have any extra cattle in this pen. What we have in here is what they get. Now, they're kind of easy in that sense because all you need to do is raise them and then sell them. So you provide them with the best possible food, they grow fastest, and then you can sell them. So if we go into our menu and take a look at our limousines right now, you can see that their weights are up to 783 pounds is pretty much all of them. Yep, 61%. So they're getting grass, like I said, so they're not the healthiest, they don't have the most, but they're putting on weight. They're up to 783. Uh, the base is when we first purchased these guys, limousines are at 617. You can see now our sell price is actually above, not by much, 
2293 2298 of uh, the purchase price so they're up 200 pounds and their purchase price is actually increased which is nice now we're losing money because we had to have them shipped here but it's only going to get better hopefully now if we can increase and get better food for these cattle that'll mean they'll put on more weight faster and that'll mean more profit for us because there's a certain age where they start getting too old and they, their value starts to decrease so you have to watch that before their value decreases and sell them off before that happens so keep a close eye on that but anyways we've got enough grass for both our uh, different types of cattle right now grass is good guys the only other thing we got well we've got manure now so I want to get manure instead of instead of slurry and to get manure you need to have straw with slurry in seasons you do not need to put straw down it will automatically give you slurry if there's no straw now since I want manure they need to have straw so we've had to buy straw that's okay that it is what it is we'll buy it let me just go and pick this thing up here uh, drop that and we'll put some straw in here and we're just going to start pushing straw around like we did before. That's not a big surprise. Uh, nope, I just need this. Just trying to figure out which tool it is. It's always that one right there. I love having the bale forks though. <laughs> that makes life so much better. So they're almost out of uh, straw in the pens right now. So I'm just going to take some more straw to both of these guys. Just so we can keep on producing manure. Whoa, am I in there? Close enough. Nope, not even close enough. Nice job, Clutch. That was perfect try again <laughs> that was weak oh that was weak all right let's go so we'll drop off this all these off i'm gonna start pushing uh like i said i'm gonna start pushing straw into both pens just so we can get some manure is that in tell me that's in thank you yes suck at this <laughs> all right and over to our holsteins the uh limousines are all taken care of we just gotta do these guys next and that is it they'll all have straw and they'll should all be happy making us manure. Now, I've got a plan for that manure, guys. I'm not using it as fertilizer. Well, I am using it as fertilizer, actually. But something I have talked about, well, since that was day one of starting this map that it's taken us to year two to get to. So, we'll be starting that right away. So, they'll be happy. They got straw. I don't think the straw has any effect on their well-being or anything like that. You can see our limousines. They've got 8,000 of straw. Now they got two bales. Um, I don't think it has any effect on that, but that being said, they are dropping in health for some reason, which kind of worries me. We scroll down to our Holsteins, they're way down at 37% health, which is really quite not good. <laughs> quite not good indeed. Uh, but yeah, everything else, they've got grass, they've got straw now. Water in the cleanliness is good, so um, I don't know what to say to these guys. Just walk it off, maybe? I, I don't know. Now... What I want to do next, guys, well, it's kind of already done. Um, I've been something I've been talking about for a while that I wanted to do on this level for this particular farm, and we haven't really gotten to it yet. We've done kind of everything else, all sorts of other farming. We've kind of set up our fields. We've got some livestock now. But my plan all along with this was to make this a bit of an orchard. So that's kind of what we're starting here. Uh, it's full. Perfect. Let's go take our water down. Now we've planted some trees. We've got orange and we've got apple trees, of course. And we've got, what, six of each, I think? Yeah, there's six of each. And we're gonna try and keep them nice and wide here. These are all apples and orange trees. I don't know which ones are which off the top of my head, even though I planted them. Um, it's just that they're, uh, well, they look the same right now. So we need to figure this out. And the best way to do that, well, we don't even need to figure it out, really, let's be honest. We just need to water these guys. So we'll start off. We'll water one one at a time. I don't even know how much water to take off the top of my head. Oh, not much. Perfect. So we'll get a lot out of this. I hope that these take a lot of water, or they don't take as much water as and seem seem across the winter. I have no idea how these trees are going to react once winter hits us. This could be a total disaster. It's, there's potential for that. These could just remain green and still produce fruit. I don't know what to expect. Um, if they've taken that into account or not, it's so difficult to say. Look at that. All right, so we're getting fruit on those trees, and these guys will start now producing money. All right, the Clutch Orchard now has water at all our trees. They are producing fruit. We've got oranges, and we got apples. Not bad, guys. That's going to be cool. Um, now it's eight trees. It's not a lot of money in the grand scheme of things, but whatever. Eight trees at whatever that equals out to be. 
that is okay. Now, you can double the income of those trees by just simply adding some manure. And that's why I wanted to give the cattle straw, is just so that we had that as an option, which we now do. Now, how can I load these up? Is this, I don't know if this works or not. We're going to find out. This might work for us. I have no idea if this thing's going to work. Let's take a quick look. We can back into the corner here. And... Come on, let me in. I don't know if this thing works the way it looks like it does, but let's, uh... There's only one way really to find out. Uh, it doesn't look like it works. It really doesn't look like it works. I was hoping that this conveyor belt will load our apparatus. It doesn't look like it. it looks like we're going to have to load this ourselves, which is a bit of a mess, but I'm not surprised, I suppose. Yeah, it's not loading, unless there's something else I'm missing, but I don't see a way of loading this thing. Um, yeah, no. So let's go grab the tractor. We're going to load this up. I thought this might work. It doesn't make sense that it doesn't in a way, but that's okay. We'll uh, bring the tractor over, and let's load this thing up. And once again, one scoop will be more than enough. Um, this might go a little bit further. I don't think those trees use this much uh, manure, at least. There we go. Done. It's just such a small little tipper. Uh, I wish it was a little bit bigger. Uh, right now, it's kind of useless. I don't know, guys. I don't know. There's just a lot there. I think we've pushed it to the max just by what we're doing here. I'm not going to bother trying to get it in the back of the gator. It doesn't seem to want to go back there. All right, so now, like I said, we get guaranteed income from those trees just based on the fact that we're giving them water. But if we want to do more, well, we just drop off some manure, and that will take care of that. That'll be double the income. I believe it's 45 a tree, so it'll be 90 bucks a tree now. Every hour that we're going to get out of these. Let's see, how much manure does this thing take? Oh, man, that takes a lot. That's going to be a lot of trips, guys. That's eight trips right there per side. Oh man, I need a bigger trailer. Huh, I got an idea. I got an idea. Yeah, let's do that. So when all else fails, well, step it up with another with a bigger tractor. So we've gone to the 7810. Uh, we've got this small little wagon, uh, dual axle John Deere wagon back here. We'll use that to maneuver our manure, maneuver our manure around. Wow. Wow, that's too late to be saying those words. Let's take the cover off over here. Now, I don't know, I've got another issue I'm going to have to look at here, if that bucket on that Kubota gets high enough to get into this truck. Um, it's something I didn't really think about beforehand. Shut that off, I don't need to listen to that the whole time. So we'll jump in the Kubota. Now I hope that this thing goes high enough that we can dump in there. Otherwise, this is, well, not looking good. Not looking good at all. This Kubota is too small. Come on, can I like force it? What if I built a ramp? I mean, that's the next. Oh, get it back up with the wheels. I can do this. Maybe not. I don't know if I can. There we go. We got it back on the wheels. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this, guys. We can't get it in there. It's too high. Ah, oh, this thing is just. Okay, force it up. Come on. <laughs> well, I suppose that's one way we could do it if we had to. Um, hmm, I need a ramp of some sort, guys. Well, that's the only way I can see us being able to do this. Ah, what a pain. That's something else I gotta buy. Ah, come on, man. All right, and by the magic of Farm Sim, we've got a ramp. Um, yeah, this is a cheap ramp. It's like a thousand bucks for this thing. Next to nothing. Uh, you know what? Is it gonna be a problem if it's tilted like that? It's just a reach issue. It's not gonna matter. We'll leave it right like that. That works for me. Now, we put it over here just because it does slope down. It should be easier as long as it's sloping down, I think. In my head, it should be, because you're lower. But that being said, the fact that it's tilting away from us is not great. Like, that is unfortunate, but that's okay. We can reach anyways. I might have to do some terraforming on that to get this to do what I want. Oh, see, you don't want to do that. That's not really what you want to do, but you can always push down on the bucket and back up. You should be able to get it off there. 
<laughs> Alright, this is going to take me a few bucket loads, guys. I've got a little bit of work to do here. We've got a lot of a lot of manure to fill up. Hopefully we can get this thing somewhat full. I need that milling machine. That's what I need. I need a milling machine, guys. That'll make my life so much better. Alright, so 82% full, not bad. We've gotten all this, the manure out of there. Now that that conveyor belt, guys, I bet you if we park our, uh, our, our tipper underneath that and just leave it there, it'll automatically fill up. It's just once it's into the... Uh, into the silo itself, then you gotta pick it up yourself. I think that's what's going on there, but I might not be right. I don't know. Anyways, let's go uh, see what we can do here. Now, I wanna dump it into the green, oops, the green bin, or the green door. Which one is it? Um, no. Left, right, green door. There we go. I don't remember which key it is there. So we just want the little green door, just so it stays fairly concise on where it's lining. Now I'm going to go right to the very back and start with the ones we had. I'm going to work my way... You know what? I'm going to work my way with the oranges first. Why not? That'll make life a little bit easier for me, I think. Back this guy on up. It looks like... I don't think I need anything on this one. It, is that full? Is that what that means then? I don't know, guys. I really don't. It's not giving me the option, so I'm assuming... That he is full. All right. Next up, we'll uh, we'll try this one over here. Let's see if this one makes a difference. This little uh, 7810 is struggling with this trailer. I'm surprised. It's not that big of a trailer. All right. Perfect. Okay. Let's make our way down the line here. Let's see what happens as we get through here. Oh, I love it, guys. This is great. Perfect. This isn't so bad, actually. I thought there was going to be a lot more, but we'll get through most of these, I think, with what we got in the bin right here, right now. All right. Now, the big question is, how often do we need to refill these trees? Can we get away with doing it once every couple of days? Does it take every single day? And then what about winter? What's going to happen with these trees? I have no idea if they have some kind of a season's mask. They're going to turn. I, I don't know if we can get fruit off them in the winter. I don't. I mean, this came out before seasons was around. So it's kind of up in the air on exactly how these trees will behave. I haven't found that out yet. We're going to find out together, I suppose, in about uh, a couple months here, which is a couple days for us. Let's be honest. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's uh, move ahead. I've got a couple more here to do, but that is going to do it for our orchard, guys. We've got, wow, our orchard is up and running. We'll finally, finally start making money hour after hour, which is kind of cool. I like that idea. Uh, we invested quite a bit in this to begin with. We didn't have to buy any equipment, thankfully, other than those ramps. But other than that, we're looking pretty stylish. Love it. And now that that is all satisfied over there, that's actually looking pretty good. I had one last project I want to take care of today. Well, for now at least. And that is our silage pit. We don't have a silage pit at this farm. Well, we do now. Look at this. This is our new silage pit, guys. It is a uh, modding well the silage pit. It kind of goes with... Well, this whole structure, everything on here is kind of the modding welt, guys. Um, this is the silage pit we're using. Oh, I can't jump up there. Come on. Let's try and get on top of it. Get up there. Boom. Um, it's a small pit, but it's a good start for our cattle. We, this is a lot of silage to stick in this thing. We may start uh, pushing some silage in here right away, to be perfectly honest. I think some grass can afford to be cut, and we might as well get to it because, well, it's cattle. They need some silage. <laughs> it's going to be some work. So, uh, yeah, I would like to get started with working towards our TMR. We're still a ways away from that, but at least, at least we can kind of see how it's going to work out for us. So that's going to have to wait till tomorrow. Uh, this grass heap, I'm just going to leave it here until it disappears, and we're going to keep on feeding them until that's our backup right now. That's our, our backup resort. It's not great, but it's food, and it's working, so I'm not complaining. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for us today. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to drop a like if you did. And, of course, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you guys next time. This is Clutch. Over and out.